Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Ooh, I love this. It's garden planting season, and this year, why not add some new annuals into the mix? And that's why Marsha Hawkins is here from Uncle John's Home and Garden in historic Olmstead Falls. Exactly. I got to tell you, that's a great little town and a great place. And right after you go through town, that's where we find Uncle John's, that's right? That's right. Wonderful South place. South on 252. I love it. Yep. What's this little mater doing here? This is a little surprise for you. Ah. We, we know and remember how you love to be in the kitchen. This is not brand new to 2016, but new enough that people are really not familiar with the grafted vegetables. Ah. Tomato, potato, very compatible. It's a tomato, potato on the top, tomato. It will do probably up to 500 a season of the little red cherry tomatoes. Really? Great for snacking, salads, and sweet ketchup hence ketchup and fries. Yeah. The bottom part is potatoes. It will yield about four and a half pounds of potatoes at the end of the season. Out of this container? Out of this container. And, and when would you harvest those? Probably September. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that, so this thing, so the potatoes will probably start to hang off of this and the tomato will grow straight up. The tomatoes will grow up. Uh, the t t tomato. Tomatoes will grow up and hang <laughs> cherry, and the potatoes are going under the soil. That's awesome. So you'll have to dig up. So a little young, we're yeah. about two to three weeks out um, in Cleveland, even though we had snow and sun in, in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. Wait till mid-May, but this goes home with you. Thank you so much. We're going to check on your progress. Thank you later. very much. I'm going to put that right <laughs> here. You know, here's one. Here's one my wife loves. She likes putting geraniums out every year. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not. What's what's with this one? Geraniums are very old-fashioned but absolute favorite um, of ours at Uncle John's. So many of the old-time independent greenhouse growers would grow nothing but acres and acres of geraniums. They've come out some, with some wonderful varieties. This one is the Survivor Series, very upright. That's what I need, Survivor. Yes, um, but very drought resistant, hardy, uh, continuous, big blooms, and easy to care for. All you have to do is debud the top, and you're good for all summer. So when, when the flower starts to look funky, just uh, clip it off. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, going over to that one, we'll jump a little bit. The next geranium uh -huh. would be the uh, Calliope. That's a, a interspecific hybrid. They take in the ivy geranium and an upright zonal and uh, bred them, and you have a wonderful draping, and the colors on those varieties are outstanding. Yeah, they seem to, they'll come over the sides of the pot then. Yep, the bright pink one in the front, the deep pink is crimson flame, that is new for 2016. Mm -hmm. Talk about crimson color, this, this color is fantastic. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now these have been on the market a couple years, but again, people just don't realize, these are the sun patients. Uh, mildew, They're big. downy resistant, yeah, the thick foliage, the, the stalk, um, prevents any disease. They continue to bloom in full sun, part shade. Really variegated awesome. leaf. Yes. Yeah. Yep. A little sawtooth leaf. And then you've got your super petunias and your uh, calabrocoa, cherry star. These are new colors for 2016. This one attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. Great. No deadheading with either of them. This one is in the petunia family. Um, doesn't have any of that stickiness that most petunias have. Could you put those where you usually put like marigolds? Are they the same kind of thing? Definitely. Borders, window boxes. These are awesome plants. Um, I will guarantee garden success with any of these. This little guy is the lemon balm or sedum lemon coral. Succulent? Yes. It, it is a sedum, but it grows, it trails, uh, deer resistant. And look at the color. Vibrant chartreuse. Yeah. It is so bright. in your... This is cute too. Celosia, new color called purple. And you can see that from a distance. And Wonderful. these these put in the center of some of your pots, if you may put up pots, huh? I was thinking this is a little tribute to Delhi, the calves, because oh. this plant actually comes from Australia. Um, we're all in, right? Go calves. Yes. These are cordylines, a little alter different pop that you can put into mm -hmm. your containers instead of the traditional spike has a wonderful variegated leaf, chocolate center with creamy green edges. So. I love the color. Yeah, so something you, so new. So you could put this like out in the front of the pot, you could put this in the center of the you pot. You sure can. This is called Electric Flash. This is new for 2016 as well. That's great. Okay, so. Uncle John's Garden, garden Center. And uh, when you go there and you go to pick stuff up, you, you can help people figure out how to buy stuff that, uh, that deer aren't gonna eat, right? Exactly, yes. Oh, and don't forget about the edible garden pots that's Saturday, April 23rd at 11 o'clock in the morning, Uncle John's Home and Garden in Olmsted Falls. $5 a person. What do they get for that $5? Uh, 
They have a class on how to pot anything that you want to eat for summer, grow your own food. Uh, Laura does a fantastic job. You can walk out with a homemade pot if you want to stay and, and make one. Isn't that wonderful? Though, whenever I talk to somebody that in the plants, they're always so calm and very <laughs> <and> so nice. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. So check it out, Uncle John's. Don't forget the big event on Saturday.